Hey everyone, welcome to the Vibes and Pearls podcast. So on today's episode, Deanna wants to talk about, (laughs) Deanna wants to talk about dating down. Dating down? Okay. Are you going to date down? Mm -mm. Okay. Let's talk about it. Come on. Yeah. I see you, Deanna. Okay, Gia. DST. D9. Let's go, let's go, let's go. It's violets and pearls with the Delta girls okay. wearing crimson and cream, call them chocolate supremes. Right. And if you're shopping for things yeah. like popular things, they yeah. got all of the things from clothes to jewelry. It's a dream Woo. to talk about things the D9 way. It feels good to be Greek and change lives, man. It feels good to uplift, to uh-huh. give back and speak facts. Yeah. Violets and pearls is where it's at. Come on. Yeah, VMP, everybody say. So, Deanna. What exactly? What is dating down? I've never heard okay, of that. So y'all listen. Y'all know what dating down is. I had a friend that asked me the other day. I think it came up on some post or something, and she's like, "Diana, would you consider dating down?" And I was like, "Man, I don't know." And then um, she she was like, "Well, I know you can't um, simply because of who you are." And I was like, "What you mean by that?" I felt kind of offended in a way. But dating down, let me explain. Dating down is dating someone who is maybe not as educated as you are, who doesn't make as much money as you do. Um, And that's pretty much it. Dating down as far as money is concerned, not anything else, you know, but maybe you all just, you could be culturally different or it could be just in two totally different classes of people. You see what I'm saying? Okay. And then two, I said dating down, but people marry down all the time. So... She was like, could you date down? Could you respect the man that didn't make more money than you? I think I could to a certain extent, but oh gosh. Um, I'm just, I want you to meet me where I am. I'm such an ambitious person. You can work for McDonald's. I just expect for you to be the GM or the manager. You can't be in the crew. Like, can't do, can't you, be you want crew. You want to own it. You, yeah, or <laughs> run it, you know, because that's what I do. You can't come to me every day talking about how you was washing dishes and cut your hand and had a hard day when I'm corporate level. And I hope that don't make me sound like a bad person, but um, I can respect you as long as you got to hustle, you know, but I don't know if I can respect it if you just satisfied. Now, everybody isn't down with the hustling and having all these things to do every day, multiple businesses. That may not be their thing, but I feel like you date a partner that kind of reflects you like that matches you and so if i'm dating somebody that's not on that level then you know what what do we have to talk about we don't have a whole lot in common for me for me that's my perspective so like honestly i never really heard of the term dating down i guess that that just shows you you how i'm out i'm out of the game been out of the game for a long time but immediately it just sounds it just sounds so negative like (laughs) you know but Okay, so hypothetically speaking, I think that while your educational status, your social um, economic status does play a a pivotal part, Mm. um, it's not everything. And I think as long as you bring value to the relationship, um, and that value can be numerous of things, um, whether it's like, again, having goals, dreams and aspirations yeah. and at least having some type of plan on accomplishing those things or how you're going to achieve those things. I think that that's great. If you bring in some type of emotional stability, mm-hmm. um, I think that that that's also great. Financial, obviously we can't, we can't survive off of love. Yeah. Love does not mm-hmm. pay the rent. Right. Um, but I think if you can bring, bring value and, and, determine what that value is then it can offset from the financial standpoint until you get to a point where you're financially um comfortable in in the relationship i don't know yeah i'm I'm 40 i'm in my 40s i'm 42 now if i were in my 20s this would be a whole it wouldn't be a thing but i'm reaching a point now i'm looking for like to invest and stuff thinking about my future um, I feel like I have worked my behind off to get to a certain point and I don't know if I'm willing to be with build a man. Like, I don't know. And I, I had a, I got a perfect example. Um, I had a guy friend back in the day that he and his guys friends were talking about dating and being with women and stuff. And this one dude was like, um, 
uh, he wanted to go eat at the soup kitchen. He wanted to take a date <laughs> to the soup, not to serve, not to, not to, you know, volunteer. No, he was a recipient of the meal and he invited a young lady to go with him. And because she was like, nah, I'm good. They talk bad about her. But I am in the, under the understanding that if you cannot pay for me our first date, you probably should be dating. Like I, to me, I mean, honestly, I feel like a guy. I mean, he needs to be able to pay for a meal. Like you ask me out, don't take me to no darn soup kitchen. No, I totally get that part. <laughs> But I also think that like, so it sounds like this has many layers to it, right? It could, because yeah, it could. that, that right there, that just seems just trifling. <laughs> like, I don't even know if that had anything to do with it. Well, but, but, so, but, but can, can you say, or do you feel confident saying that you could find, it's possible that there are men that's at your level from a financial standpoint uh-huh. that may not be willing to do the, the things that you are looking for when you're courted. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I can see that. And so I say that to say that, okay, in this particular scenario, he wanted to take her to the soup kitchen. He could have very well afforded to take her to. This dude couldn't. He was, I mean, honestly, this was somebody that they knew. He couldn't afford. And I've had guys ask me out to the, hey, come, come to my house. I'm like, no, nah, let's go meet at a uh, restaurant. Oh, I can't afford to buy you lunch this week or today. I'm like, oh, wow. Well, Maybe you shouldn't be trying to date. Like, get your get your clean. Yeah, yeah. Get your stuff together. Make sure that you can pay your bills, can can live comfortably, and then pursue a potential mate. Yeah, you know, no, that's what I, I think. no, I I definitely agree with that. I'm thinking more in a line with like, I, I'm trying to word this correctly because I don't want to offend anyone, <laughs> but like, um, you know, those who are in a career mm-hmm. that may not be making the same amount of money that you are. Yeah. However, they, they have a career. Like, they're they're, yeah. they're making money. They're yeah. just not at the... Now, that I can get down with. Okay. Because you could be, like, a teacher or you could be some manager or something. What I'm attracted to is ambition. I'm not necessarily attracted to the money that you make. I, I'm more caught up on how you treat me, how you make me feel. However, if you don't make what I make, that's fine. You know, that's good. Because I got like a bunch of hustles that I'm, you know, yeah. that's, not, that's not normal. But the thing is, if you um, if you are happy and you're doing something and you're, and I don't have to hear about you grumbling every night about how, oh, they doing this on my job. They doing, they won't let me, they don't, they don't respect me. You know, if you are happy and you do what you need to do and you, you making them, I can't respect that because you're doing what you need to do. However, I can't get with the struggle, dude. I can't. I don't want to. I don't want to. My car broke down. Come pick me up from work. Can yeah. I hold your car? Yeah. And I, and I think that's, that. yeah, I think that's a, that's a totally different genre, honestly, or yeah. a category of men. And they just bombs. Like, right. that's you what it sounds like. For a place to stay, you think you're going, because, you know, we, uh, you have it. But <laughs> <laughs> some friends and I have dated guys that, look at a woman, certain women that work hard as a come up, like they need somewhere to stay or they need, uh, they need to ride to work. Can I hold your car or something? Or the kids need something. Can you help me buy this? So just different stuff that look for us to be the, re- I think the role was kind of re- reversed. It looked for us to be that support and to be like a provider in a certain way, not in, up in a marriage way, but you know, when you're dating, you kind of practicing to try to see who you want to marry. But you know, it just, you know how some girls are like, he gonna pay my light bill, he gonna pay, he gonna get my nails done. Where certain men that are doing the same thing. Oh, she gonna pay for my haircut. She gonna take me to work. I'm gonna hold her car. You know, she gonna pay for the meal. That's dating down to me. Okay, I, I can agree with that. I can I see that. that. But it also makes me think about the, the contrary to this in terms of you were talking about, you know, being able to hold your own, for yeah. lack of a better term. Mm-hmm. Um, whereas do you think that men that may necessarily be considered on your level would see you as independent and don't need them? Yeah. I mean, it's funny you say that because I was watching something the other day and a girl was just describing all the stuff that she has and that she can do. And the guy that was listening was like, you just described a man. Like you don't, (laughs) 
What are you giving to a relationship? Like, do you even need a man? Absolutely do need a man. And I don't want my accomplishments to be held, to hold me in a, in a category to where I think I'm, you know, superior to a man. I yeah. absolutely need him. There's certain things that I can't for myself. Like, I need the companionship. I need the love. I need somebody to be um, over me. And I don't make a whole, whole lot of money. It's not as if, you know, like, it's plenty of dudes that make way more than I do or whatever. But um, what I do need... I mean, what I do need is somebody to say, hey, baby, I got you. Yeah. I got you. Whatever you need, we, we in this together. Um, I'm that shoulder you can lay on and the person you can talk to at night. I need that. Um, but I I just don't like the idea of a lot of people holding that against professional, especially professional black women. Like, we have to, you know, we have to come up with some kind of reasoning as to why we're so strong and independent. We really ain't got a whole lot of choices, really, honestly this day and age like things have changed so much and even when you look at like the educational realm it's way more black women that have um you know further their education or working in a professional setting like um in comparison to our our brothers so a lot of times we can't even a lot of times we don't even have the option if you choose to go with an african-american man for him to be a professional white collar worker you know a lot of times he will be a blue collar Worker, so. And blue collar workers make money too. They make just as good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, they, and I don't not their hustle. Like mm-hmm. I really like. Matter of fact, I dated a guy that was over construction. I loved when he would come around because he just smelled like man. Like he just smelled, you know. He did, did she say he smelled like he man? Smelled like man. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all know what that is. Like you know, like they've been sweating all day, wood chips and stuff. I don't know. I like that. So it's different from what. <laughs> So, but it, but look, okay, so the thing is with you, you mm-hmm. married your, y'all met in college. Yeah. So y'all came up together. It's not as if, you know, one person was here. And, you know what I'm saying? Like y'all both kind of rose together. But um, you're, you've you been married. But could you imagine marrying somebody that wasn't on your level? Like, could you mar- imagine mar- marrying down? Um, I don't know. Oh Lord! <laughs> See? Yeah, it's real. Like it's real. So going back to what I originally said in terms of like what value do they bring to the table? Um, trying to look past, you know, just the financial aspect. Mm-hmm. I don't. I, I would say that it wouldn't be like a total deal breaker. Yeah, it wouldn't be like a total deal breaker. We we definitely would be talking about what you know our long-term goals are Mm -hmm. and what the future looks like um with with the hopes of not being not ever being really content yeah um so i say that to say it wouldn't be it wouldn't be written off immediately yeah right me me personally i am attracted to ambition like you're ambitious yeah like a lazy dude playing video games all day that's not me i don't like nobody that's you know not connecting with his purpose that that turns because I'll be finding myself go you should do that you I will be the encourager yeah and I don't know if I want to do that because if they don't already have that in them then to me I'm not attracted so yeah I'm not attracted to laziness I'm attracted to the hustler you know, ambitious man. right and I'm 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 attracted to that as well in addition to not being stagnant yeah like I. I hate the word content. Right. Like right, I right. really do. Like monotony. You know, it's just thing over and over again. Yeah, and I think that that's one of the things that I I love about my husband is that we are constantly talking about how to get to the next level. You know, evolving. Um, rightfully so, together and separately. Yeah. Um. So, and that's why I said you know it would be important if if I was in a position where I would be marrying down or considering marrying down. Mm-hmm. I, I need to see what your plan is like. What, what are we doing in the next five years? Yeah. What are we doing in the next 10 years? Right. You know, what's, what's the plan? What's the strategy? Yeah. How are we going to get to these goals? Right. Um, because stagnancy is not, mm. not where it is. It's not. No. It's, to me, laziness begets poverty. Like, that's in the Bible. Like, straight. If a man don't work, he don't eat. I mean, that's period. Like, so if you're not trying to get get it, um, then that's that's not for me. But some women are content with just to do, just doing just enough to get by. Mm-hmm. You know that that's what they want. But 
me personally, I need you to meet me. You don't have to meet me, like, month, but meet my hustle, meet my ambition, meet my passion for what I do. Yeah. I love what I do. Yeah. And if you're with someone that loves what they do, they love teaching, they love coaching, that really may matter to me how much you make. But if you're in love with what you do and you're happy with that, then I think that's cool. But I can't support you if you have a bad day at work. I definitely can't Right, that. absolutely. Um, and I, I can help support you to try to get to where you want to mm-hmm. be. But you got to have that goal in mind. Come like, dang, I want to be a football coach. And you sitting, you driving bus every day. Yeah, you got to have some drive. <laughs> like, you, it, it's not going to happen on its own, right? Right. right. Yeah, I, I get that. And I, I'm glad you mentioned the, the, the word support because I think that that's also important. Even if you find yourself with someone that is, on your level for you know lack of a better description i also need you to support what i'm doing while i'm supporting what you're doing as well because you can run into those in, into those cases where we on the same level and then we find ourselves competing against each other yeah that too you go on and you do like yeah yeah you gotta be supported. Mm-hmm. yeah, I yeah so i think that's important as well yeah and two um, number one thing pray about everybody <laughs> like, God, is he the one? Should I be dealing with him? Mm-hmm. You know, and, and I feel like you'll be let, you know, in whatever way you choose, go with that because what society says you should do may not always be the right choice. Exactly. For you, so. And what it looks like today doesn't have to be what it looks like tomorrow. Right. Like, things change, things change mm-hmm. immediately, overnight. Right. Things right. can change. Yeah. So, all right. Well, what about you? Would you date down? Would you marry down or like, you know, what is your, what are your girlfriends doing? Your, you know, guys that you know, um, how is that working out? Let us know in the comment areas and, um, we hope that you will like and subscribe to our channel and we have more topics coming up. So stay tuned. All right. And share.